Welcome to Kinta's Point of Sale. Let's get started. In this video, we will explore the X reading features of the system. Before proceeding, please make sure that your inventory has been populated with data. First click on Report. Here you have an overview of your sales. Now, click on X reading. To start off, select a date. Next is a drop-down for which user handled the sales. By default, it is set to all users. The next drop-down lets you choose a specific terminal. With the filters selected, click Generate to produce a report breakdown. Let's take a closer look. Total credit is the sum of all credit card transactions. Total debit is for payments made with ATM cards or debit cards. Cash GC are those paid with gift certificates. Cash credit is for those paid using loyalty customer cards. Beginning OR is the first receipt printed on the selected date. In contrast, ending OR is the last receipt printed on that date. Beginning sales is the accumulated sales since the usage of this system. Ending sales combines today's sales with beginning sales. Going back, the EOD print button is a shortcut for printing the reports shown on this page. Moving on, let's click on search. Here you have a list of sales invoice numbers. Enter a number and click search. You can then click on the sales invoice number to load the receipt. Here you have the option to cancel, print, or edit the sales. Going back, let's click on sales detailed. Going over the details, here we have the sales invoice number, the time it was entered, the terminal number the number of items sold, and the cashier that handled the transaction. Then, we have the subtotal, the value for vetable sale, the value for vet exemption, the 12% tax, and the senior citizen discount. For the last three columns, we have the values for payment methods used such as cash and card. Finally, we have the total sales for each transaction which is summed on the last row below. On a side note, we have this row for cancelled transactions. As an example, let's open an invoice and cancel the sale. Now the receipt has been tagged as cancelled. This is also the procedure for returned or refunded items. For exchanged items, this can be accomplished through edit sales. When you click on this, this brings the user back to the order page of the chosen invoice number. Here you can remove or replace items and change the payment made. When finished, press F1 or click Update Sale. This also generates an updated receipt. Going back, let's click on Generate to refresh the page. We now have an updated report with a cancelled item. Let's check the print view for this one. Going into Sales Summary, the report focuses on total sales. Here's the print view. Next we have Item Quantity. This counts all quantities sold. Here's the print view. In cash count, we can view all entered cash denominations. Currently we are using an admin account. Another user type that can view these reports is a supervisor account. Currently, this is set to show all consolidated counts from every cashier and terminal. Here you can also add a new cash denomination. Click here to view the form. Here you can select the terminal and cashier. Once you've entered all the amount, click Submit to finish. On the table shown below, we have two examples of entered denominations. We can see the name of the cashier, the time the count was entered, the terminal, credit card sales, debit card and ATM card sales, cash sales, and total sales of the mentioned payment methods. Next we have the actual count for the cash submitted. This is followed by the over and short rows. Over displays an amount when the cash count exceeds the sales made. In contrast, short displays the amount when a cash count is a lacking or does not tally with the sales. Since the over and short are balanced out, the discrepancy shows zero. To the right, we have the following options. We can edit a count. By clicking edit, we can view the form and adjust the count. This is used for a recount by a supervisor to tally the day's sales in case the cashier has already left. When clicking delete, you will be prompted with a message to confirm. 
Once an entry is deleted, this can no longer be reversed. Use this if a cashier will perform a recount. Lastly, we can print a copy which can be signed by the cashier and supervisor. Here's the print view. Let's move on to X reading. By clicking this, the page loads an X reading ready to be printed. Click print to view the printing options. Alternatively, if you are using Google Chrome, you can save this into a PDF file. Click change, and select save as PDF. Then click save. Going back, you can also download Excel files. Click on export sales to download an Excel file containing sales details. Once downloaded, refresh the page. Here is a sample file from the download. Export items will download a file listing items and quantities sold. Here's the second file downloaded. And that's it for X reading. Thank you for watching.